Hey Lisa, this is Jessica from Peterson SEO. Thank you so much for speaking with me this morning and requesting this free video for you guys. Um, so today we're going to go over just a few tips that you guys can apply right away and it's really going to help with your online presence as well as getting more organic leads. Now it's important to note that nearly 70% of your organic leads are going to come from your website. So it is important your website be properly optimized so you can capture those leads. So um, we are here on your website. You have a good basic looking website. Um, I notice you have separate pages for your major services, which is awesome. You definitely need a separate page for every service that you have. Um, and all of your pages must have their own original content and should be focused on their own local buyer intent keywords. Um, you do have a little bit of content here on your website and it looks like um, a keyword here that you're trying to target, but this is what is called a national keyword and you need to be focused on local keywords. These national keywords are going to give you false readings, false metrics. What will happen if you actually rank these to the first page of Google is you'll get people from all over the country on your website that you can't help. And so they're going to leave your website. It's going to look like your website is getting a lot of traffic, but the traffic it does get isn't going to convert. There's going to be very minimal traffic locally using national terms. So you really do need to focus on the local buyer intent keywords, and those are going to be the keywords your customers are actively searching in your community for your services. So all of your content on this home page needs to be built around your services and those local buyer intent keywords. And you're going to need a minimum of a thousand to fifteen hundred words of content focused on those keywords um, or more content depending on what your competitors are doing. Whatever your competitors do, you want to make sure you're doing more than they are. I also see that you serve multiple locations, so you should definitely consider adding a separate page for every one of these communities that you service that has any search volume for your services. That way you can actually be found organically for your services in each of those communities. Now those service area pages should be like this home page here except with its own original content and its own keywords for your services specific to that location. Oops, I went to the bottom here. Now, um, Google has robots called crawlers that go and index each of these pages, looking for that original content and keywords so they can rank you and put you in front of your customers. So let's take a look at your top competitor for water damage in Jackson. And we have Tobin Restoration. Um, they service many locations, so you don't have to compete against their entire website. You're only competing against this Jackson um, area. Um, if we look here, you can see they're using Water Damage Restoration Jackson. Um, that is a great local keyword. Um, you can also see they have a ton of content here. So in order to beat these guys, um, you're definitely going to need more content and you're going to have to work on that keyword strategy. Um, it looks like they've only been focused on one or two keywords here, so they're missing out on a ton of opportunity because people search differently. And so you want to make sure you get you do your keyword research and you use all of your relevant local keywords that could convert into customers. And then you're going to want to support your website with SEO because without search engine optimization, your website's not going to be found online. If we look here, you have a rating of a 2.8 out of 100 in Google's trust flow, which means Google doesn't have a whole lot of trust on your website. And that's 100% based on your backlinks and referring domains. While you do need a lot of these, um, you want to make sure that you're only going after the authoritative links that are do follows so that they share the power of those high ranking sites. Um, and we see here only 61 of yours are do follows, 
which means only 61 of those links are doing any good for you because Google only gives you credit for one backlink per referring domain and everything else they look at is spam. So you definitely are going to need more of these, but better quality. Um, you have been indexed for over 100 keywords and you are getting about 154 people on average to your website, which is awesome, but unfortunately, almost all of that is national traffic. So you guys are missing out on a ton of potential customers by not focusing on the local traffic. If we look here at your keywords, you do have several on the first page of Google. There's 10 spots available, but if you notice, these are all branded national keywords. Although there's a ton of volume here, it's a national keyword, and so a minimal percentage that lands on your website will actually be um, customers. You need to be focused on the local keywords so that you can actually be converting them into customers. But if we look through here, almost every single one of your keywords, except these here, are um, national keywords, and these ones are on the bottom of the third page. So you definitely need to work on the keyword strategy, content strategy. You're going to need those backlinks attached to those keywords so that you can rank them and get them to the first spot on Google. If we look at your competitor, um, their website has a poor rating and they have no rating for this page and they've got no backlinks going to this page and they've only got four keywords index. So these guys are actually going to be super easy for you to beat by just working on those content and keyword strategies. Um, and then the last part is this Google My Business section. Your goal should be to be in the top three of this section because nearly 30% of people um, search in the maps and don't search anywhere else. So if you're not listed here, you send all those leads to your competitors. Now, in order to be in the top three, there are several factors, but the most important is going to be your citations, and that's going to be the name of your business, your address, phone number, and website, and listing those in a bunch of directories like Yelp, Yellow Pages, etc. Now, you guys are doing a great job for this search term and this location, um, but you do want to make sure that you're here for each of your service areas and major keywords. Um, and so now if you follow all of these tips I've provided you today, your website can be number one across Google for all of your services and service areas using those local buyer intent keywords supported by your SEO. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it helpful and would really love to get your feedback on what you thought of this video. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call at the number on the screen and we can chat. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon.